I lost my granddad this year. Not from Covid, but still lost him. I must admit, I found getting Christmas cards a much bigger deal this year um, than perhaps I had before. As a self-confessed person that's never really done Christmas cards or seen the value in them, um, they've actually been astonishingly important to me this year and I'm curious to see if you feel the same or if there's any new ways of expressing love when physical contact isn't as possible. I'd seen him before uh, the Christmas party prior to Covid and I didn't know that was the last time I was going to see him. Uh, yeah, um, I think one of the things I would say about it is that it's the immediacy of things and that urgency and very much uh, that we're in a moment where everything is so fragile and could be gone really, really quickly. <laughs> so don't put off until tomorrow. Yes, telling somebody that you love them because they might not be here tomorrow. And I remember at the, at the beginning feeling really, really frightened. And that actually, I might have seen my mum for the last time. Um, because she's in a different part of the country. And if she was to get COVID, she would be very unlikely to survive. I always make an effort to talk to my grandparents at the party anyway, but... I wish I'd have known that was the last time. And we haven't had a chance to sit and talk about things properly. So I think the immediacy and the urgency of things has been important. Yeah, I think there's been an emotional openness for a lot of people, I think. And um, that sudden realisation that, as you said, not, not necessarily losing someone swiftly, but the fact that you might lose someone and then not have the opportunity to see them. I just think there'd be, there was more I would have liked to have said. I'm not the most emotionally open in telling people how much they mean to me. Um. So I think I've done things just because. Uh, I sent some flowers just because. Yeah, sent her a card just because. Uh, nothing to say in it, really. Uh, we, When we did go on holiday, uh, she hadn't been particularly well. And I've been... I've had to go and stay with her and look after her for a week. So, And we just... I'd just come back home from that and then pretty much straight away I we went on holiday so she was very much in the forefront of my mind so I told him I loved him I always do but... I think it would have been nice to have said why that really hadn't written anything on it um, but it was just that you know just to cheer her up uh, because she wasn't going out, send her a postcard. I think it's that honesty as well, uh, being able to articulate things that you know perhaps you wouldn't say things out loud, but you do because it's important and it's important that you say it for yourself and also important that other people hear that. Yeah, yeah, it feels like there's no time for embarrassment anymore. 